Hello, this is Chris Neal from South Plains College. Welcome to my Pro Tools how-to video series. This video is on subgrouping. Part one is on a main subgroup so that all audio in the session flows through one aux input track. And part two is on a complex system of subgrouping where we will subgroup subgroups. So get ready. Again, during the course of the video, you will see my keystrokes displayed at the bottom of the screen. And here is a key to the guide for the symbols that you will see. You can use shift to select tracks in a range. You can use the command to take tracks in and out of a selection or on its own to select non-contiguous tracks, or you can use the option key to select all or deselect all. Okay, first a quick little demonstration of the selection techniques. I can click and shift click to select all tracks in between, and I can use command on a Mac and select or deselect tracks from my selection. If I hold down option, I will either select all or deselect all. I can use command again to select non-contiguous tracks to add to or subtract from my selection. And again, option selects all or deselects all tracks. Okay, now we're going to set up the mix window view. So what you're seeing on your screen is similar to what is on my screen. So pause the video as needed to make sure that you are showing what I am showing here. And next, two important shortcuts for do to all and do to selected. The tracks you're going to hear are unmixed, and I have left the effects setups from the effects setup video in the session. So we are going to select all the tracks in the session, basically anything that is contributing audio to our mix, and we are going to route that to an aux input track. So here we go. First, I'm going to select all the tracks in my session by option clicking on a track, and then taking the master fader out of the selection by command clicking on that. And now I'm going to go to the last track or the track that I would like the aux to appear to the right of. So go to the last background vocal track and I will option shift and click on the output for the track and choose new track. Okay, and we will then choose a stereo aux input track and name that track appropriately. For my students, these days I'm actually just using S sub M to shorten the name a little bit. And then hit create. And we will see the new aux input track appear to the right of the BGV track. And we can see how the output of all tracks that we had selected are routed to a new bus that Pro Tools created and added to our bus list and named it S sub M or S sub master as we see here. And that is then the only track routed to main out. Walking away, so now when we mute that track, no audio passes through. Okay, the next step is we need to create a master fader and assign it to that S sub master bus. So we are going to go back here and we're going to use the shortcut command shift in to create a new track. And we're going to create a stereo master fader, hit create. And we see it appear there. And we need to assign it to control the output of that bus S sub master or S sub M. So we assign it and we see how all of the tracks are output to S sub master and that that master fader is controlling that output before it becomes the input to the S sub master aux track. And we can see how as we adjust that master fader, it affects the input going into the aux input track. And we can monitor for clipping on that bus. And here is my naming scheme for subgroup tracks and for master faders assigned to control subgroups or effects in buses. Okay, so moving that master fader into its position signal flow wise and renaming it in lowercase ms and then the name of the bus that it is controlling. So next we're going to create some master faders to control and watch for clipping on our effects send buses. So take a second and pause if you need to read over this section. So next we'll create some master faders. So we're gonna create a master fader for each of these effects returns. So command shift in, and we're gonna create three mono master faders and one stereo master fader. And again, this is to match the input into those aux input tracks. So let me move them over here to the right. Okay, so now we're gonna assign these master faders to control each of these buses. So first let me move these and put these in order. So the first one is a stereo. We're gonna assign this 
master fader to control the F reverb stereo. Okay, so we see how those two match. And then next, we want to match that one. So we're going to assign that to the bus. F reverb mono. And then next is the reverb plate. So we choose bus F reverb plate. And then the last one is the delay. So F delay mono stereo. Okay, so we can see how these assignments match the inputs. So we're able to control the signal level going into those aux input tracks and plugins. So we name the tracks little m, little f for the master of an aux send. So we'll finish naming these tracks and then continue to part two of complex subgrouping.